Ryan Fraser's right-footed ball is deep, and then comes Billing, nods it down, Ake with an overhead, and turn, Callum Wilson, Mefren! The most unlikely scorer of Bournemouth's first goal of the Premier League season is Chris Mepham. The centre-half from close range, it bounced around twice, and Mepham was there to drive it home, and after 62 minutes, the Cherries take the lead. Well, we had three goals in it. As you said, the ball was bouncing around. People made a couple of saves. It was Mepin. Well, I don't think he hit it cleanly, but who cares? It hit the back of the net. That's the main thing. Well, Ake had a go. Callum Wilson had a go, saved by the keeper. And then Mepin drove it into the ground. And it may have been that slightly uh, unclean connection from Mepin, which actually helped it go in as it bounced over the goalkeeper who was already on the ground. So David McGoldrick going off and Ollie McBurney coming on, the Sheffield United change that was already planned before that goal went in. Don't, don't underestimate Billing on the far post who headed the ball back, magnificent header. Absolutely. Two and a half minutes left, it's down the right side of the box where Bulldog will drive it in, right across the six-yard box, beaten away, Billy Sharp equalises, Sheffield United do have their goal. The Cherries were not switched on. They may have got fortune at the other end. When they scored their goal, the fortune went United's way this time. It bounced a couple of times off defenders, and the former Southampton man, Billy Sharp, poached it home with two minutes left. Bournemouth won, Sheffield United won. Well, again, Rico was involved, wasn't he? It slid down the side of him. I'm not sure... He's in, he's, two people are in the wall, and he's one of them. But you also have to cover the slider ball down the side of you. 